Let us hear together the word of God. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, at the 13th verse, reading to verse 35. And I'll be reading in the Revised Standard Version of Scripture. This is subtitled, The Walk to Emmaus. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles away from Jerusalem, and talking with each other all about the things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk? They stood still and looking sad. Then one named Cleavus answered, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened in these days? And he said, What things? They said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. And we hoped that he was to be the one who would redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were early at the tomb in the morning, and they did not find a body, but came back and said they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. He said to them, O oh, foolish men and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that Jesus should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them all the scriptures, in the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going, and he appeared to be going further. But they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is now far spent. So they went in to stay with them. he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread and bre blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said to one another, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them, who said, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told him what happened to them on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. Amen. This is the word of the Lord, and may God bless it to all our hearts. Let us pray. O Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for Christ's meeting with believing people. And we thank you that in our day generation, this can still happen just as he, these two men met him on the way to Emmaus. For those who walk sadly in this life, bring to them something of the joy of the faith. For those seeking assurance, may they find it. For those with a deep sense of isolation, bring the love of the Holy Spirit. All these things through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen.